Hey everyone, Andre here with a quick weekend news update involving a supposed increase in Switch production, as well as an in-depth interview with Nintendo's president, Jintaro Furukawa, that provides a morsel of new information among some more insight in Nintendo's recent expansion outside of just games. But first up is a report from Nikkei Asia, who's claiming that Nintendo is going to greatly ramp up production of the Nintendo Switch to about 30 million units this fiscal year which is a record amount for the platform. And considering that the Switch had already shipped 80 million units as of the end of last year, it's on track to outsell Nintendo's best-selling console being the Wii at 101 million. And again, there's no sign of it slowing down. Of course, it still has a ways to go to topple Nintendo's own best-selling handheld platform being the Nintendo DS family at 154 million, as well as the best-selling video game platform of all time being the PlayStation 2 at 155 million units. But hey, if any platform could do it, it might be the Switch. Especially since Nikkei continues to report that Nintendo will be releasing a follow-up model to the Switch capable of even better graphics. Though that obviously isn't official yet. Moving on, the publication Fast Company had an interview with Nintendo's president Shintaro Furukawa, which touches on Nintendo's relatively recent expansion into media outside of just gaming. And Furukawa explained why. Our objective has always remained the same, to connect and entertain more consumers of Nintendo IP, in the hopes that they may become interested in the world of our dedicated video game experiences. By doing this, our goal is to create a connection that transcends a particular game, platform, or console generation. Although the ways we are expanding our IP are increasing, we are very, very careful about where and how our IP is licensed. We are not deploying our characters and worlds merely to increase public exposure. And it's to that point that he clarifies Nintendo's role with the upcoming Mario movie made by Illumination. He states, It's not that we've asked Illumination to handle everything. Mr. Miyamoto is very, very hands-on with the production of this movie. However, this then brought up the idea that, could this focus on non-gaming media serve as a distraction to the development of Nintendo's own games? To which Furukawa replied, Something that we really made sure to avoid was that when being engaged in this IP expansion outside of game development, that we don't cut into the game development resources on our side. And to realize that, we made sure that although people who deeply understand the characters and deeply understand the game are involved, that we keep the number of people involved to a minimum. Furthermore, Furukawa then elaborated that, that they're very careful in how they expand and explore these worlds outside of games so that they don't lock themselves out of opportunities for the games. He says, We must make sure that the results are true to the player's experience, and that they would never prevent Nintendo's developers from making another unique game featuring the same characters. Finally, at least on the topic of movies, he teases that a Mario movie isn't the end of the line when it comes to animation, specifically stating that, Animation, in general, is something that we were looking into, and not just the Mario franchise. Furukawa summarizes the entire situation this way, we realize that, unless we reach outside of video games, that it's going to be difficult for our creative freedom to come to fruition. For the company to keep its winning streak going, that vision will have to surprise fans, and maybe even Nintendo itself. So there you go, that's Furukawa's look at Nintendo's current MO when it comes to expanding outside of games, which personally I think is pretty darn exciting. I can't wait to see how this Mario movie shapes up, even if it is made by Illumination, and the tease that there could be more on the way is really exciting! Come on Zelda Netflix series, please! But what do you think about all this? Are you excited for the future of Nintendo expanding outside of video games even more? And how about those Switch numbers? It's gonna be beating the Wii within the next year, which is pretty darn wild. Let us know your thoughts by posting in the comments below. And with that, thanks for watching, and of course make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for tons more on the Mario movie, and everything else Switch as well. We'll catch you later. Bye everyone!